Oh, for sale now, Vehicle Max, we have a 2008 GMC Yukon XL SLT. The XL is a long wheel base one. It is um, uh, jet black on the outside with uh, ebony black leather inside. It has factory navigation, factory DVD, uh, factory power moonroof. It has the polished 20 inch wheels with uh, matching Goodyear tires all around. The tires are not new, but they got plenty of tread left on them. They do not need to be replaced right now. Uh, car has no dents whatsoever, no hail damage, no love bugs, no uh, bird droppings anywhere on the top surface of the paint. It's a clean title and a clean Carfax. You can view right now for free at our website at VehicleMax.net. Take a quick peek inside and then uh, we'll continue going on the outside. It's all black inside, as I was saying before. Moonroof, DVD, and uh, navigation, and I'll show you how all that works later too. It's also equipped with uh, curtain side airbags here on the front post. Curtain side airbags here on the middle post and also has curtain side airbags here on the rear post. Okay, um, quad bucket seating, so two buckets in the front, two in the middle, and one bench in the rear. Total of seven passenger. All right, let's continue going around. Um, we are located at 3200 Northwest 37th Street, Miami, Florida. 33142 is our zip code. We are open Monday through Friday. 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Saturday 9 to 5 and we're always closed on Sundays. If you have any questions you can always call me. My name is George. I can be reached at 305-218-5462. These are the rear bumper sensors. These are the ones that beep when you approach another vehicle or object. Okay. Rear view camera which I'll show you that in a minute. Heavy duty tone package with the electrical connection there ready to go for your brakes or your lights. Okay. Let me also tell you that we've been in business since 1992 and have sold over 30,000 cars. We are a better business bureau accredited business with an A-plus rating. You can check that out for yourself at BBB.com. Just punch in uh, VehicleMax.net. All right. Um, we're going to go ahead and uh, get it started now. Car has just got uh, no, no, no scratches, no dents, no hail damage, no love bugs. Whatsoever the car is in perfect shape inside and out. It is still in the manufacturer's warranty of five years or 100,000 miles on the powertrain. The bumper to bumper warranty has been exceeded by miles. The truck has approximately 61,000 miles. Okay, let me go ahead and get inside and get it started. The car is also equipped with a remote start. Okay, I'm not going to demonstrate it to you now because the car is a little low on fuel and when the fuel light is on, which it is on right now, the remote start will not work. But all we got to do is get a little fuel on and that will start to work perfectly. Okay, the door panels are all solid black with the wood trimming over here. Of course, it is equipped with uh, power windows, power door locks, screws control, tilt wheel, power seats. Uh, I believe it's also got uh, yeah, power adjustable pedals. That's that one right there. And the backup sensors I already told you about. Before I sit down, I'm going to go ahead and pan over the driver's seat. This is the seat that's going to have the most wear. And there are no burn holes anywhere in the seats. Uh, door panels, headliner, carpeting, or dashboard. I'm going to go ahead and, uh, and uh, pan over every panel and everything that I can in the time I have allowed. Okay, uh, there's also no odor of smoke whatsoever. Uh, so, I, this looks like this vehicle belonged to a non-smoker. Okay, let me go ahead and get inside get it started. <coughs> it is black on black, inside and out. Alright, get the car started. Get the AC going, it's nice and hot today. Got dual climate control, they're both right now reading 74 degrees. I'm gonna show you, I can make the driver's side whatever temperature I want, completely independent of the dry, of the passenger side. We got the driver's side at 60 and the passenger side at 74. But for now, I'm gonna go ahead and put them both at 60 because it's nice and hot here. All right, get the fan going. Let's put it to the face only. How do we do that? Uh, here we go. Okay, get these vents pointing at me. Alright, now we can move on. Alright, um, let's get the navigation going. Alright, there's your navigation screen. Let's go ahead and open the moonroof. We can get a little bit of lighting in here. It is a one touch moonroof, as you can see. I don't have to hold the switch to get it open. I'm going to go ahead and close it now. So you can see it is a glass moonroof, it is tinted, but you always have this cover here. You can slide forward to block out the sun completely. But for now, we'll leave it open. Okay, um, what else can I tell you about the vehicle here? Okay, it's got 61,299 miles. 
car is running right now and there are no lights on other than the uh, seatbelt light which is why I just stopped flashing but uh, the seatbelt light that was on because I am not wearing my seatbelt clearly to uh, shoot a video and the gas light which I tell you is very low on fuel that's why I could not get the uh, I could not demonstrate to you the remote start but once we put fuel on it that works perfectly okay I'm gonna rev it now and the reason I'm revving it is just to show you that, the, uh, that there are no check engine light on, airbag lights, anti-lock brakes, maintenance soon, uh, tire pressure monitoring system, nothing. Everything is working perfectly as it should. Okay, um, let's go ahead and operate the windows. Power windows are one touch. As you can see, I don't have to hold the switch. Same thing with the right front one. One touch. The rear ones you do have to hold the switch down. As you can see, they are tinted. Flip the camera over here. Alright, let's see if we can get a DVD going here. I don't know if there's a movie in there, but let me give it a try. Uh, DVD is on. Alright, I think there is a movie on there. Yes. By the way, <coughs> excuse me. You can play a movie in the front DVD player as well as the uh, rear DVD player, okay? Now, clearly, when the car gets going, you take the car to park. That DVD screen in the front will uh, not work anymore for the DVD player. It will go to navigation or stereo, whatever you have. So they play simultaneously the same movie. This is a factory unit, a Panasonic factory DVD player. All right. So this front screen here has a number of different uh, functions. You can play a DVD on it as long as the car is in park. You can put your navigation screen on here. And you can also do the... Uh, <coughs> Uh, the rear camera and I'll demonstrate that for you now all right when you put the car on reverse and then this camera the camera comes on I'm gonna back up just so you can see how accurate it is and then it beeps on the approaches of the vehicle right now unfortunately the Sun is setting behind us so you may not be you may not get quite a good look at it but um but it, I just want to show you this work this that you see here outlined that's a rear bumper uh, it is very accurate I mean you can come within actually inches of another vehicle that's what I'll show you now Right. There you go. That we're probably about six inches away from that vehicle. And right now it's beeping. The sensor is beeping to let you know we're extremely close. Okay, I'm gonna pull forward now. On the rear view mirror, we have a temperature readout and a compass. Okay, let us know we're pointing east right now, and it's 92 degrees outside. Got the OnStar system, and in just a few seconds, I'll tell you what that does. Uh, uh, this is your home link. This is to program your garage gate or door opener. All right, let's go ahead and uh, put the stereo on first. Let's see your audio. Let's put FM. It's a touch screen, as you can see. All right, I'm going to raise the volume here. Uh, let's see here. Let's put the XM stereo now. Right now, the XM stereo is on preview mode. Okay, you have to sign up for the subscription. Um, but it is equipped with the XM stereo, and it also has um, uh, an auxiliary port here for you to connect your iPod and listen to it on your uh, Bose stereo sound system. Okay. All right. Um, leather wrapped steering wheel, and I'll pan over that so you can see this in perfect shape. It has no damage, no cuts, no tear, no the discoloration, no uh, stitching coming apart. It's in excellent condition. Okay. Alright, this is the remote audio I was talking to you about. Uh, I got it muted right now. You can unmute it by pressing here. Okay. Uh, you can seek stations here. And over here, this is to check out your preset stations and change what, what I call a source here. And uh, right there, as you see, I went from XM to DVD. Now I'm moving over to, I think this is auxiliary. But of course, you got to put on the, um, the, the cable to the iPod and connect it to this port up here. And I'm going to move on to now to AM and back to FM. All right. Cruise control over here. Automatic headlights that come on at sunset and go down at sunrise. Cruise control. Okay, now I'm going to pan around the vehicle and talk to you about the OnStar. If you get into a car accident and any of the airbags deploy, it sends a signal to the OnStar center to let them know you've been involved in an accident. They'll attempt to contact you through the car to see if you're okay. If you do not respond within a reasonable amount of time, they'll dispatch emergency vehicles to come to your aid. 
Also, if you're running out of fuel and need to find the nearest gas station, hotel, restaurant, or if you're just plain old lost, all you gotta do is press that uh, blue one star button and they'll give you turn by turn directions to get you back on your way. Another neat feature about the OnStar is if you happen to lock your keys inside your car, uh, you can call the OnStar Center at a 1 800 number they provide you with and um, they'll, uh, they'll identify you, make sure you're you, and then they can send an immediate signal <coughs> excuse me, to your car to get it open. Okay, that saves you money in having to call a locksmith and also saves you time in having to wait for a locksmith. Okay, wood trimming starts at the door, continues over here, back up over here, and then follows up on the passenger side of the dashboard and the doors. The rear doors also have um, uh, wood trimming. Okay, power outlets here for your charger or iPod, there's two of them. Power adjustable pedals, as in case you got a real short driver or a tall driver, you can make these move electrically without affecting the position of the seat. Just the pedals move up or down. This is to disengage your parking sensors. Just in case if you're towing a boat or a trailer and you need to reverse or back it up into the water or whatever, uh, it'll, they'll start beeping immediately because you're right next to the trailer. But if you, you can disable it by pressing that. Once you put the car back in gear going forward, it, uh, it, this will re-engage. Okay, traction control, that's to disable that. Uh, this is storage over here, cup holders. This is removable, by the way. You can actually put it on here if you like it better in that position. Okay. Here's your um, owner's manual. All right. And the remote for the television. Put that back in here. Plenty of storage space down there. Nice and deep hole. Okay. Um, uh, this is the uh, towing haul mode. That's in case you're towing a boat or a trailer. Uh, if you press, that's what you want to do. Press it. The transmission will shift differently, and also will not engage the overdrive. That way, you don't burn out your transmission. Okay. Uh, I think we've pretty much covered all, everything that we can up here. Um, so show you. We got our vanity mirrors that are lit on both sides. All right. Uh, okay. Let's go ahead and turn off the car now. We're low on fuel, and I'll show you the other options in the vehicle. Okay, in the meantime, let me go ahead and uh, pop the hood so we can uh, take a look at that as we end the video. Okay, um, as I was telling you before, door panels are all solid black with the wood trimming and it's perfect shape, no, no scratches or cuts or anything on it. The speaker covers are in perfect shape, they're not cracked or anything. Move on here to the rear passenger area, same thing, solid black panel with the wood trimming. All right. And the speaker cover in perfect shape. Pan over the rear seat here. Show you that it has no damage whatsoever. All you got to do is lift this lever up, and then this, this will fall down, and you can flip the seat forward and gain access to the rear passenger uh, seating area back here. Okay, we got our rear AC for the middle row passengers and also the rear row passengers, so everybody's happy, nobody sweats. Okay, um, these are controls. You can control the uh, rear AC right here and the stereo, as well as you have a video input here in case you want to add a, you know, like a kid's video game, a PS3 or a Nintendo or anything like that. Cup holder. Looks like whoever had this car didn't have any kids because um, the interior here in the back, the middle row section and the back section are real clean. There's no indentations from baby car seats. This lip here is nice and tight. You know, kids like to stick their feet in here and bend this lip out or stretch it or even detach it here from the side. This one is very, very clean. I'll give you a, head of, uh, a look out of the headliner so you can see that there are no stains, burn holes, cuts, discoloration, or sagging anywhere on the headliner. All right. Let's move on to the rear cargo area. <coughs> Excuse me. All the tail lights and headlights are in perfect shape. They're not cracked or scuffed or damaged in any way. They don't have, and they're not hazy, they're nice and clean, and there's no moisture getting inside of them. All right, rear wiper, rear window defroster, pop the tailgate here. As I was saying to you before, this is the uh, XL version, so you got plenty of space back here for cargo. These seats can also be, uh, you can flip the backrest forward and they'll, they'll flip up and back up right up to the back of those middle row buckets, okay? Giving you even more storage, or for real, for a big, big uh, quantity of storage, you can actually do the same thing, but instead of pulling that handle there toward you and remove the seat from the vehicle altogether. I'll give you a look at here from the headliner from this angle here so you can see there's no stains, cuts, tears, or, um, or burn holes or anything like that, that it is not sagging anywhere. Okay. When I'm panning around, you might think you see a stain here or there. It's just that we're shooting this video indoors. There is no stains. 
It's just shadows that you're seeing because we're shooting this inside of a building. Okay, let's go ahead and close the tailgate. All right, this is the rear camera that you were looking at just a little bit ago. Let's move on to the right rear. Right rear tail light, same thing, perfect shape, no cracks, no cuts, no discoloration of any kind. All right, right rear door panel, solid black, wood trimming, no scratches anywhere in the plastic or cracks on the uh, speaker covers. I'll pan over the uh, middle row bucket here on the passenger side to show you that there's no damage or burns or cuts or anything like that. Nice and clean. I'll give you a little look back here at the rear row seating area here. As good as I can do from here. There's cup holders back there for the rear row passengers, by the way, two on each side. Okay. Uh, let's move on here to the front. Also, let me show you the back of the front seat so you can see it's in perfect shape, no damage whatsoever, no cuts, no tears, no burn holes. Let me go ahead and repeat myself uh, just to let you know that we are located at 3200 Northwest 37th Street, Miami, Florida, 33142 is our zip code. We are open Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Saturday, 9 to 5, and always close on Sundays. Speaker cover, door panel, perfect shape. Passenger side power seat as well. I'll pan over the seat now. I'll remind you that we have been in business since 1992 and have sold over 30,000 cars. We are a Better Business Bureau accredited business with an A-plus rating. You can check that out for yourself at BBB.com. All right. I think we're about to conclude this video. I think I have shown you everything there is to show here. The, the booklet is in the, in the center console over there where I showed you before, but here are the other supplemental uh, booklets that come with it. All right, let's close this up here. We'll pop the hood, and we'll end the video. We have uh, financing available for all types of credit, from the very best credit to the very worst credit with very competitive rates on both sides of the equation. All right, the 5.3 liter V8. Let it focus in there. If I can stop moving. There we go. The Vortec 5.3 motor. Uh, again, no accidents, clean title, clean Carfax, which you can view for free right now at our website, vehiclemax.net. Go ahead and pop the hood down here, give you a look at the front bumper, and we'll conclude this video. Again, the, the headlights are in perfect shape. They're not cracked or scuffed or hazy or, um, or brittle or anything like that. The front bumper is in excellent shape. It's got the nice grill, GMC grill, and no damage whatsoever on the bumper. All right, it's the driver's side headlight. Okay, and uh, I want to go ahead and close the door here, and thank you for watching our video. If you have any questions, call me. My name is George, 305-218-5462, and visit our website, vehiclemax.net. Thank you.